So I wanted to find out if this is really true. Was this, was this really, um, does this make any sense? So what I decided to do is to put them all together. So I have a cube in the middle of this. On the outside, I have fire, which is a tetrahedron. Now fire is what's transforming. Okay, so inside the fire, there's an octahedron. Now the octahedron is this clear plastic one here, here, there, and on this side. And then there's one here, one here, one here, and one here. Eight. The, the octahedron has eight faces. So if I take these off, these are tetrahedrons, aren't they? That's fire, fire, fire. I put them all on. Okay, then it's a complete tetrahedron with an octahedron inside. Now inside the octahedron, there is a icosahedron. Now I made that out of Q-tips. It's so white Q-tips. And right in the middle of the icosahedron, there's a cube. So here we go. Cube, isocahedron, octahedron, tetrahedron. Right here. Everything here are triangles. Not this. Not a triangle. This is a snowflake. And how I discovered this was because I studied snowflakes. I wondered what, how they come in. How can they always be like this, this shape? Well, can you see the cube in that? Some of you can. OK, so this is the top of the cube. Here's one side, and there's the other side. Do you see that? So if I hold the cube up like this, all right, is that showing it to you? Can you see the six in there? There you see the six? The six is one, two, three, four, five, six. It's right the same as this. But what I'm gonna show you is something I found when I was working on snowflakes. This distance between two triangles is root three. I don't know if you know that or not. But that's root three. Otherwise, that's three square acres or three square whatever. Yeah, that's what it is. This, okay, if I take this root three uh, and I put it right in the middle, I have a perfect cube. And that cube came from a snowflake. It's coming all apart, but I'm gonna get it so you guys believe me. <laughs> There's your cube, kind of a little wobbly but you can make it perfect. That's root three. That's root three in there. Yeah, about right there. This is root three. Same thing. That goes from one corner to the other. Root three is the foundation of the spiritual world, of the three-dimensional world, I'm sorry. This is the foundation of the three-dimensional world. That guy right there, root three. Those are all root threes. Look how many there are in a cube. Root three. See how it goes from corner to corner? Everywhere, all the corners. There are eight corners, so there are four lines. Those are all root three. The one, that one has some that don't go from corner to corner. Are those the same Which length? One? This the one? one? Yeah. Are those ones from the middle? These are root two. Okay. Isn't that great?